We love beautiful. Africa. We are Africa. Africa. Yeah. Africa is, is love. all we breathe. Mm -hmm. Africa is the reason we started this movement. Yes. Africa is the reason we change your mentality. Yes, we want to show you the real Africa, not the one in CNN, not the one in Al Jazeera or whatever. We want to show you the real African, the real, the real love African or whatever, um, the true African. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So keep at it. For the first time, the story of Africa is being told by Africans. Yeah. We the story have to. of Africa is being told by people who have. You have to tell uh, your own story at their heart because no one will tell your own story exactly as you can tell it exactly so we have we as africans have to tell the african story as it should be and as we see it yeah. not how mm -hmm. any other person sees it because they will never tell you the true Instagram, african story Instagram. yeah so. And the story of Africa is starting from the heart of Africa, yes, exactly. Kenya. You know, yes. Kenya people know people know Kenya is the capital of Africa. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know why, 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 why they started calling Kenya the story. They, they Kenya is, is a the country of Africa. its own, and Nairobi is it is Kenya's um, headquarters. Capital. Yeah, capital. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but Kenya is famous. Mm -hmm. Kenya is and famous. Kenya is beautiful. Very beautiful. So please come, join us, and then you will get to experience all this. It's it's yeah. amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. We're having a good time out all here. All of that is Kenya. Amazing. Africa. With your support, we will not lose the um, the morale of showing yeah. you Africa the motivation. And, you know, yeah, we always get motivated everything. whenever people support us out there. Exactly. You're watching a conde, you're commenting on it, you Leave like it, comment, like you get motivated and share it. Exactly. Yeah. Among the no, countries no. you guys have traveled, mm -hmm. which country are the tallest ladies? Uh, for me, I just saw, I just said it, South Africa. Well, I think it was for me. I think that's the tallest woman I ever seen. South okay, Africa. for me, I went and Sweden school also. And Sweden? Yeah. Um, for me, I went to school with South Africans. Rwandese, South mm -hmm. Sudanese, oh, all Sudanese of them named them. Tall as hell mm -hmm. Yeah, with together cool. with Gustrudi, yeah. we were tiny. Yeah, yeah, oh, you were tiny. Mm. South Sudanese ladies are. Yeah, they she's are. She's in form yeah. one. You are, and you're she like in form like three or something. Yeah, so she's she's like 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 this. You can't even bully her. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. She'll be like, what? What are you doing? Yeah. They're tall. So for me, I think it's South Sudanese. Stop it. I think she's not lying. Yeah, South Sudanese is very tall. You'll find mm -hmm. a lot of ladies that are about 6'5". And Randy's. Mm -hmm. They're about, they about probably 6'5". Yeah. And they, they date men who are about 6'9", 6'8". That's mm -hmm. so why you see all these tall kids coming out. Mm -hmm. Because their mother is already 6'5". Forget mm -hmm. about their father. Wow. Mm -hmm. Their mother is 6'5". 6'5". Yeah. And then um, the Randy's also are very tall. Or one of these people. Yeah. I didn't know they the were tall either. They were... Ha! The ladies are tall. They are tall. And good for as well. And the president's daughter. Yeah, they're almost the same height. Yeah, 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 they're very tall. Mm -hmm. We schooled with them. They're also very tall. Wow. Mm -hmm. Kenyans, Kenyans, we are down here. We truly <laughs> kwamilia. Oh, no, you guys are tall, Kenyans. <laughs> no, but, uh, and I to a hear. higher percentage. A shorter. Of, yeah, not unless they're Maasai. Mm -hmm. the All Maasai are, are tall. Yeah, they're Chukana taller. Tall as well. Yeah, they're taller. And Chukana. Also Who's the tribe that runs? Is the tribe that they, they Kalenjin. That's the right. That's right. They're, 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 they're right medium right. height. They're not. Okay, I'm I'm shorter than them. Mm. They're like five nine, mm -hmm. five ten, six foot, mm -hmm. five eight. Mm -hmm. But for the Maasai's, the Rwandis, the South Sudanese, who they're playing from six going up. <laughs> yeah. I have a question for you. Uh, the biggest sh culture shock. You got uh, you. You always get when you get to Africa. Mm -hmm. I know you are in Africa and you have always been to Africa, but there was always that big, big culture shock. Mm -hmm. We saw much uh, mm. unique from what is happening in the West. Oh, uh, there is so much similar to the West, especially mm -hmm. when you get here. You expect. I mean, I'm an African. I can tell you, I spent time in all parts of Africa. But when you land in Kenya, it's very similar to America. So when you get here, don't think you're going to uh, see something di different. It's pretty much an extension of the West when you come to um, Kenya. Mm -hmm. it's just, you're, you're, dealing, you're going to deal with uh, same things in America, but you're in Africa. So that's, that's what you're going to deal with. You're going to get here, you're going to feel like you're back home in the country, in the States, wherever you come from, or Europe, but you're in Africa, like you said. So here we're standing somewhere very beautiful, very similar somewhere in the West, but you can turn the corner and we can be in a village. 
So that's what uh, the culture shock for me in uh, Kenya. Very similar to America. Uh -huh. No, no different. But you can turn the corner and they can turn into real Africa. Yeah. In one minute. Yeah. Amazing. Though I I suspect you have uh, some slight difference probably with the meals. With the, the meals. Yeah. With the, the food. Meals. The, the food. food. Okay. Yeah. In Africa, I mean, we okay. we consume straight from. The farms and the, the farms, okay. yeah. Yeah. In 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 the US, yeah. You can yeah, grocery stores. Yeah, stuff. grocery stores. It's a it's a big difference. You can tell even when I get there about ten days later when I'm in America I lose about 10, 15 pounds, guaranteed. Oh sure? Yeah, I lose about 10, 15 pounds. Because I'm eating <laughs> natural and boozy. <laughs> and boozy, yeah. cuckoo. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> when you're where? When I'm here, when I'm here I'm eating natural, natural food. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gaining guaranteed twenty mm -hmm. some pounds. But when I get to America um, no matter how much you eat, it's the certain foods, and I, I have certain foods I like to eat. So when I get there, I lose guaranteed 10, 15 pounds. Because I'm not eating every day like we're eating here. Mm -hmm. And um, I, did, I think it's the quality of food, yeah. pretty much. Quality of food, quality of the air, all that type of stuff. Stress, yeah. less stress. We, um, we have more time to formulate my schedule here. Because when I'm in America, I'm on a set schedule because of another job. But um, when I'm here, I have my own schedule, you know. Yeah, I can be up early in the crack of dawn. Mm -hmm. Or I can be up late. <laughs> but I have a great schedule when I'm in Kenya. Wait, so when you're here, you know, yeah, yeah. you push pushing a brand out there, you have to be so much committed. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let's talk about the dress code still mm -hmm. uh, with our ladies. Yeah. yeah. Can you put it on the spotlight? Look, look, look at what, uh, how she is dressed. Then uh, try to compare. Loose loose shoes, people. <laughs> you know, you know how they do? Yeah. Let's talk about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There is a big culture shock yeah. with what, what the ladies in the West are dressing, how they, they are dressing, mm -hmm. and how Kenyans are dressing, Africans are dressing. I don't dressing. think it's a difference, especially African women. Uh, African women have the best bodies in the world, so you come to Africa, I think you're going to see less clothes here. Say thank you. Thank, yeah, you. You, thank you for the good body, but... No, I'm serious. You're going to see less clothes because um, the women here are very natural. So they don't need to wear so many things here. Mm -hmm. So you will see a lot of women where they can wear something very simple, but they make it look like it's a million dollars. Because mm -hmm. they're, you know, naturally, uh, the original woman is here on this earth. So it's no, you're going to see the woman with no makeup, it's natural body from the market or from yeah. their house. Yeah. And they're going to look call like it. Kenyeji. <laughs> okay, what do you call it? Kenyeji. Kenyeji? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what they call it? <laughs> Kenyeji? Is that the right word? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first word I've heard him say correct for the correct. first time. Can you <laughs> I said many words correct. <laughs> the first word you said correct for the first time. Like you didn't have to try three times to say it. Mm -hmm. That is good. That is progress. That's what happens when you're with beautiful African women. He's a sharp student. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, very sharp. Um, I, I learned very well. I speak about four languages. But Kiswahili is my fourth language I'm learning. But guess what? I will be there fluent people. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. It's a beautiful language. And then you meet beautiful women like this. T can you pay it to the Kiswahili woman, please? Get it off me. <laughs> <laughs> pay it to the Kiswahili woman. Yes. You want me to speak Swahili? To the subscribers, yes, please. They will, they will love to hear it, please. Yeah, in, in Swahili. Yeah. I tell them what. Flex. Yeah. Straight flex season. Hey, flex season. Ah, I'm just from. Just Yeah. 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 Now flex it. Now flex. Now flex. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I don't nah, think I can flex, flex. But flex. <laughs> okay, I'll speak Swahili though. Yeah. Aya. <laughs> Ukija Africa. This is what you get. Ah, uh -uh. uh -uh. I'm Swahili. Swahili is tough though. <laughs> Ukija Africa, especially Ukikuja Kenya. You can't be bragging and keep Swahili. How to pata? What's channel he be with? What's channel tangu Kenya? What's channel? Out of this world. Turn around, please. 360, please. This is what you get. This is the real African. Wow. Nothing added. Wow. Should I say raw? It's raw. Natural. Yes. <laughs> natural, and we are beautiful, and we are God made, just like anyone else. Wow. And um, what else? Yeah, we should actually teach our African ladies to love themselves the way they are because we are beautiful. We are filled with melanin that actually other people are trying to get. So please enjoy it, embrace it, and brag. Brag about it. Yes. Yeah. Let, it, let, 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 let everyone know we have the best. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. we have the, or rather, you guys have the best. Cause 
you're Africans. <laughs> women are just are the, the best. best, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm. but whoever is watching <laughs> and uh, has already been uh, following me, mm -hmm. I don't. We don't mean to hate on anyone. Yeah, hate on anyone. <laughs> we love you guys. Yeah. But we have no reason not to appreciate what we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We actually we like appreciating beauty and black is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to talk black about the you you are being to the east. Oh, Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. Kindly talk about the culture shock you got when you once you landed there. Mm -hmm. um, culture shock. Yeah. Did I, did culture I? shock. Uh, I came to know that Arabs mm -hmm. love to eat goat meat. Oh, that's one something wow. different. But Whoa. thank you for saying if you that. Tell them, if you tell them, hi, I'm on my way coming just to say hi. Mm -hmm. You'll slaughter a whole goat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And then when you come in, you have to eat it. You don't have an option. You have to eat, have it, to eat it, and then you go home. That's it. Wow. If you and your wife have a child, they'll come with the goats. They'll wow, slaughter. slaughter. Yeah, that's, that's their thing. Yeah, wow. they love goats. That's culture shock mm -hmm. in Dubai. Yeah. yeah. What else? Um. Uh, what else did I come to realize that? Also, something else. Their women. Mm -hmm. Their women mostly are housewives. Wow. So yeah, they don't men work. go work. Yeah, the men bring the money. Care the women the take care of the house, the kids, and the husband. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, and then when it's on a weekend, I'd like someone to take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it's on a weekend, mm -hmm. the wife will take the kids and the husband, and they'll just go to shop. Yeah. Now, was it multiple and wives or was it just one just wife? One, I, just I noticed one. most of them have one wives, one. but the others who have multiple. So they'll not go shopping with all of them. So mm -hmm. he'll just stay home and the wife will go with the kids. Or rather the wives will go with the kids. Wow. All he has to do is give them money. Oh, it's amazing, yeah? That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one? Um, something I came to realize is... Mm -hmm. um, if you move to Dubai, mm -hmm. clubbing is expensive. Mm -hmm. Very expensive. Very expensive. Wow. So people tend to drink mm -hmm. um, from home, and wow. then when they are drunk, mm -hmm. now you can go to the club and dance for like two, three hours. Yeah, and then they get each one of them a bottle of beer mm -hmm. or a glass of wine or whatever, and then they enjoy the loud music and then go home. That's it. Wow, Clubbing but you already got there drunk. It's expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk about the dress code. Aha, uh -huh, the dress code. Um, the women in Dubai are very, very, very decent. Mm -hmm. But you know, before Dubai was famous, if you went to visit Dubai, you were not allowed to just dress the way you want. You had to dress like their women. Like them. Yes, you had you to have wear to cover the whole, yeah. your head. Yes, even the head, everything. Mm -hmm. But I think the government noticed that they're not attracting more tourists because oh. of that. So they changed it, mm -hmm. and now anyone can wear anything, mm -hmm. just be decent. They can, you can have do mini shorts, mini skirts, whatever you want. Oh, yeah. okay. but uh, residents but, of there. But specific their, places, their, their not women, their everywhere. women have to always their women be dress, covered. Yeah. But it's specific places in Dubai, not everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about the food. Oh, Lord. Yeah, explain the that, food please. is amazing. Mm -hmm. Dubai food is oh, good. Food is amazing. amazing. Dubai yes. food is good. And wow. let me tell you, I didn't know that. they have a full hotel. Like Listen. the size of Kempiski. Tegaskio. Yeah, Kempiski mm -hmm. size. Yeah. That actually hosts people and mm -hmm. only deals with vegetarian foods. Wow. No, so I, I know you love that. <laughs> that's, the only reason, that's the only reason she said the food was good. Because they had one side that was vegetarian. <laughs> no, it's because they, oh, they actually Go see Africa do... people. Get out of here, man. <laughs> it's because they actually, out of here. It was good. Yeah. They actually consider mm -hmm. even vegetarian people. Mm -hmm. Like I've told you, Arabs like meat. Yeah. You know? So they have to also consider that their tourists or whoever is coming in can be a vegan or no, I'm just a joking. vegetarian so no, I'm just they have joking. to yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so they have restaurants and hotels mm -hmm. just for ve vegetarian foods mm -hmm. and most of the people who are cooking in those places mm -hmm. are either Hindus mm -hmm. yeah Hindus yeah just Hindus because they are more vegetarians oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have racism in that place? Mm -hmm. yes we do and guess from whom? Mm. our own? no mm. 
it's not okay in dubai okay i came to realize that we have types of arabs mm. when it comes to being racist yeah, yeah. um the arabs in dubai are not racist they're wow. actually loving people they're wow. nice wow. and they're kind i'm happy to hear that yeah please, very please kind. explain they're, they're, please, please explain they're your experience kind. with the arab like your mind behind the edit to that yeah we will no, 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 but, yeah, but, yeah. but please explain mm-hmm. so about the arab men what was your impression when you first got there do you think they were going to be that kind or what was your expression? when i first got impression? there i thought it would be like the way people would um, describe saudi arabia mm-hmm. but then i got there and so dubai everyone is amazing if you go and see someone driving a Lamborghini and you stare at it, they come and ask you, do you want to see the inside? Oh. You're like, no, sir. Please, <laughs> I insist. He opens the door, mm-hmm. gives you the key, mm-hmm. and then lets you take photos, wow. brag about mm-hmm. it, mm-hmm. while he's in a corner. He will not be in the video or picture. Yeah. Yes. It's and you then, and you alone. Yes. And then when you're done, you say thank you, and then he says thank you to you too, and then he get, gets into the vehicle and leaves. Wow. They're amazing. And then the other thing is um, um, the the people who are actually racist mm-hmm. in Dubai are the Filipinos, the Filipino women. Wow, mm. they are not very their racist land. to the African people who are their taking land. their jobs. But they're very and deep there. Like, they're very, there's a lot of the them jobs, there. It's the Arabs' jobs. Mm-hmm. We are all there to work, so yeah. it's not your country, it's not your job, mm-hmm. it's everyone's job. You get mm-hmm. so they're they're the only ones I noticed who have the racism kind of thing, you know. Wow. Yeah. And guess what? I have mm-hmm. much following for um, Philippines. Oh, we so, we uh, love the Philippines. Uh, they they show love on the Black Geo also. I want you to, to be genuine. <laughs> yeah, be yeah. genuine. But as the well, Philippines, Africans. So love to the go see Africa, right? Philippines. The men, the men are very kind, mm-hmm. but the Philippine women who are in Dubai are kind of racist. Towards mm-hmm. any other person. Well, can I say Philippine something to you too? Yeah. We're African people. Mm-hmm. Nowhere around the world is mm-hmm. going to show us love mm-hmm. like we do mm-hmm. ourselves. Yeah, sure. Get true. Okay. You Get have true. to start Never. by Nowhere appreciating yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why we are here appreciating Africa, expressing our love but, for Africa. But she's we right. Love you, Africa. We're mm-hmm. still going to go to these lands and, yeah. spread, a, 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 and flex us being African. Exactly. Yeah. So, regardless if they like us or not, exactly. they're going to see us in Dubai, mm-hmm. yeah. they're going to see us in New York, yeah. they're going to see us in Nairobi. And then something else it doesn't I doesn't matter. Mm, something else. Their winter is January here. Huh? <laughs> Their winter, mm. you're like this. Mm. Very <laughs> you hot. can't breathe because of the. Yes. Mm. But to so them, they're like. But yeah, in January, they, in January people are broke. Yeah. They're winter, they are broke. No, they're not broke. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say that, go see Africa. <laughs> Come on, man. You know, we spent a lot of money in December. Yo, you know why we broke? Yeah, 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 we sure. broke in January because December mm. yeah, is African New Year. Mm. We spent all our money yeah, exactly, in December. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Sure. So it but is not amazing. our fault all the time. I, mm-hmm. We got to bring the, the, the babies and the mamas, you know. Yeah. They take all our money. Exactly. And the flying queens also. It's time to. Entertain your family, your yeah. loved ones. So Maybe in December, you sh- share with anyone. Yeah. yeah. So. so I would recommend you to go to Dubai. Is actually um, a very nice place to go. If you're a Kenyan, a budget of like two hundred thousand mm. takes mm-hmm. you to Dubai for like two weeks mm. and brings you back. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. And you tell people that it's actually easy to get to Dubai. Then it's even Uganda easy, and it's or, only four hours away. Yeah. Four hours yeah. away. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that until about three years later, being in Kenya, mm-hmm. that how close Dubai yeah. was to Kenya. Dubai mm-hmm. is very close. Very close to Kenya. To Kenya. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're amazing. And more Kenyans will actually go and to Dubai. And everything there is cheap. Yeah. And the other thing I came to realize was. If you went to a shop mm-hmm. and someone sold you something fake, mm-hmm. you can actually report them. Wow. They'll leave you with a fake thing and then they'll have to pay you and give you back your money. So no one sells anything <laughs> fake in Dubai. Wow. Be it gold, be it silver, I, be it I'd, perfume, I'd be it be anything. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. I, I've always wanted to go to other countries, but yeah, now I think I need Dubai. Yeah, we should start but with Dubai. But most important, I need to travel the entire Africa before I think of it. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. But because, because Dubai is so accessible, <laughs> I think we may have to go to Dubai because yeah. we've been trying to go to uh, Uganda. We mm-hmm. love Kampala. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my people in Kampala. Mm-hmm. But it's very hard to get there. Yeah. But yeah, I think we're going to drop down to um, Dubai first. Yeah. yeah. We'll be in Dubai. We're probably going to drop down to Dubai first. You can actually just start with Dubai and then go into go Africa. But they, they, yeah, they, it's, they, it, they it, it makes it like that, though. Going going to Nigeria or Liberia, mm-hmm. the expense is the same with mm-hmm. going as Dubai. going to Dubai. Yeah. It's crazy. So it's about the same Dubai. people. Mm-hmm. And Africa got to change. 
Yeah. We're right next door to three beautiful countries, but it's hard for us to get there, people. But mm -hmm. we can go to Dubai. Can mm -hmm. you believe that? Yeah. We're, so we're, we're going, going to, to go Dubai. to Dubai. Going Since to the other three countries are going to act yeah. crazy, yeah. Ethiopia, mm -hmm. Uganda, mm -hmm. Tanzania, mm -hmm. you're playing games, yeah. we're going to go to Uganda. To, I mean, we're going to go to Dubai. To Dubai. And we're going to flex. And mm -hmm. then when they see us flexing, yeah. I guess Uganda, Ethiopia, yeah. and Tanzania will <laughs> act right. I'm going to allow you. <laughs> <laughs> they'll act right. <laughs> they'll see us flexing over there and they'll act right. Because we, we have a lot of beautiful things coming up in those three countries yeah. right next door to us. We are in the epicenter of East Africa. Yeah. 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 But like she mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. Dubai might be hit by the black geo, go see Africa, mm -hmm. and again by the flying queen. And when she gets there, we'll make sure that, you know, the Arabs still treat her right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Arabs are nice. <laughs> the Dubai Arab Arabs. community? Yes, the yes, Dubai yes. Arabs. Yeah. They are good. They're the ones who actually I interacted they with. They're nice. So they're good. Who are Arabs. Yeah. And their reception is amazing. Yeah, their hospitality, nice amazing. Okay. So yeah. this is Africa, well, and my name is Gossi Africa. So my interviewer Gossi here, Gossi Africa, was who am I? Don't don't worry about who am I. Shabby from the Black Just make sure that you subscribe to the Black Geo, yeah. okay? <laughs> like and subscribe to the Black Geo. Oh, and like and subscribe to Gossi Africa first, okay? Yeah. This man's about to hit ten thousand subscribers. Be on the lookout for so much great content we got coming up. Mm -hmm. We are great producers in this country and the world because we're not just here in this country. We're based here in Nairobi. We chose this country. We love this country. We love this city. But we're based around the world. So please like and subscribe to Go See Africa, Black Geo, and the Flying Queen. Mm -hmm. And of course, we got a guest back here who been relaxing because we've been having this man outside the whole day. With some day. energy. Yeah. Some energy. Yeah. The last no, few you, minutes you, you is Mr. Africa, Africa, right? right here. Macabelli <laughs> Check yeah. see Africa, subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Yeah. The only artist in that team. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. We're That's going to tag you. Solo, solo man yeah. right here. Solo event. I keep on entertaining us. Mm -hmm. Solo yeah. event. Yeah. And sure. hey, Macavai, just tell the people, man, you, you know, you, you take it over this country. We take yeah. it over Nairobi. We take sure, it over Nairobi. Sure. With the Black Geos, with the Go See Africa. Nairobi. We take it over this whole this country. This is your best artist so far you have. You, you this is the best. This, this is the best artist, people. I don't yeah. care what you're talking about. This man is doing it by himself. Yeah. On the gram, on YouTube, taking over. He has brought the Ghost Sea Africans and Black Geos here. So trust me, we about to bring this man up. You gonna see this man in East Africa. Trust me. Sure. All around this, uh, this whole region sure. of Africa. Trust mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. you know, yo, yo, we don't talk yo, too much. Yo, check. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Nilikuwa danda wa kem lakini nilitaka mode wa TP Mziki ni ukedi lakini yangu imechenga nyikanya na TP We outside wow. yeah. Amazing. So we with the real ones wow. man Real yeah. content, real wow. views as, as we as say we That's what we do Machiavelli yeah. Man you better like and subscribe, go see Africa people mm -hmm. This is real and exclusive You will not meet these people unless you come on our channels Trust yeah. me yeah, Tell them This is the 254, yeah. go see Africa The black geo The black mother geo and the flying queen. <laughs> Yo, go check. Wow, the flying yeah, queen. That's what's up. That's Goodbye. What's up, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Damn, Machiavelli, you getting famous today. <laughs>